on, boys and girls? What's up, world? I'm Sufian from New Jersey, and you're checking out Austin John Plays. Austin John Plays here. Welcome back to another episode of Shrine Hunters, a series that started off as a Let's Play and then evolved into me just doing shrines, and now everyone gets on me if I don't upload them fast enough. Well, guess what? So far, we've done Wasteland, Elden, Akala, Gerudo, Lake Farron, Monaru, Hatino, Dueling Peaks, and the Great Plateau. And now, because of your requests on the previous video, we're going to be doing Central Tower. Central Tower is located right in the middle of Hyrule Field. Pretty hard to miss. If you go directly north from the Great Plateau, you're going to be able to find the tower, no problem. For the first shrine we're going to be doing, it's located just southwest of Central Tower, and it's the Kam Yatak Shrine. The Trial of Power is going to be several different rooms that require you to use your runes in order to open up different doorways that are much, much larger than you. In the first area, we're going to use Magnesis on this little ball, which is going to grab the boulder, pull it all the way back, let the boulder fly forward, and open up the doorway in front of you. You can use Stasis on one of these spikes if you need to. Here, there's going to be a couple of Guardian Scouts we're going to take care of easy peasy. We're going to be taking a bomb, and we're just going to be throwing it right at that platform. That's going to send the giant boulder down, opening up the doorway in front of you. Grab a chest on your way up. In our next room, you're going to find two more Guardian Scouts. Getting these Guardian weapons is going to be pretty helpful, considering that for Central Tower, there's going to be a lot of tests of strength, and the Guardian weapons are going to be super effective against the Guardian Scouts. We can't really do anything in this room, so we're going to make our way on over to the next one. Be sure to use stasis and not die because of that, that platform. This room is going to be a large apparatus. Use stasis on this large boulder over here. Activate the apparatus, get that metal ball to go flying into that boulder, and then it's going to go forward, knock through all these barrels, hit the backboard over here, go through this little hole, and open up your doorway. I already did it, and they don't let me do these things over again. Grab your chest, move on to the next room. For this room, you're going to ignite an arrow, and you're going to set these leaves on fire, which is then going to burn that platform, and that boulder is going to fall down perpetually. Next, we're going to use stasis on this large platform, and we're going to step on this at the perfect time to set that boulder flying in the air. Once it lands, it's going to head forward, and if it has enough momentum, it's going to open up your doorway. Use a bomb on these bricks and grab your chest. Now you're going to want to stand on this platform, which opens up the gate. Use stasis, and you're going to want to give it a nice whacking, as powerfully as you can, and send it flying to the doorway for the last room. In this room, once you stand on this platform and hit the switch, it's going to send you flying up in the air, float down behind the large pillar, and grab the last chest of this shrine. Head back down, reset the switch, go flying in the air, and get your shrine orb. This was, this was a big maze, and there's a lot of stuff going on here. Dang. For our next shrine, we're going to make our way just south of here, past the Colosseum Ruins, and you're going to be finding the Outskirt Stable. From the Outskirt Stable, you're just going to find it on a small plateau to the west. This is the Rota O Shrine. Here we're going to be finding Passing of the Gates. First thing we need to do is shoot the switch. That's going to open up the way to grab this orb, bring it slightly away, and shoot the switch once again. Grab the orb and throw it into the basket. Now shoot the switch once again. That's going to send the orb flying into the holder right there. Next, we're going to grab a small key. If you head your way just left of the main entrance area, you're going to find this chest. Grab that small key. If this platform isn't down, then chances are you need to shoot the switch again to make sure it's in the upright position. Shoot the switch again. Unlock this door. Shoot the switch again. Jump on the platform. Fly in the air directly forward to the chest. Grab your chest. We're going to shoot the switch one more time. And gently glide on over. Climb up the two stairs, and that's your way to your Shrine Orb. Fantastic. Just south of here is going to be the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. On top of this large platform, you're going to find a Henix. Directly underneath one of the bridges, you're going to find the Da Kaso Shrine. Also, if you want, you can pretty much just glide down from the Great Plateau and uh, find it pretty easily. 
This is gonna be a minor test of strength. Keep in mind, anytime you go up against a guardian scout, using an ancient weapon is much more effective. Also, if you upgraded your ancient armor to the second level, you get the ancient proficiency, which makes your weapons even more effective. Take care of this guardian scout version two. Shouldn't be too difficult. What was that, six hits? Damn, that's effective. Make your way to the end of the shrine, grab your item, and grab your orb. Next, from Central Tower, we're gonna work our way pretty far west and south, and this is gonna bring you to the Wago Kata Shrine. If you already did the Dueling Peak Shrine for the Hilo Rail, this is for the, uh, the crazy flower lady, you just make your way on, and there you go. There's a, uh, there's a stable here. I guess I never went there. Yay, I registered a new location. Look at that. Look at me, still finding stuff. Should help toward my 52% completion rate. This is gonna be Metal Connections. To the right of your entrance, you're gonna find three large blocks. Jump on top of them. Grab your chest up here. Next, we're gonna glide on down, and we're gonna use Magnesis to bring all of them over. For a fun little challenge, try to bring them over without knocking them over. Ha, I did it. If not, you can always just restack them up once you're over here. Grab this large platform, throw it on over to the side. Next, we're gonna grab our three blocks again, again for a fun added challenge. Try to not knock them over. And you're gonna wanna put them pretty much right next to the platform. Grab the platform, put it all the way above your head, and set it down so it lands not like that. Not like that at all. And set it down so part of it is on top of the platform and it's going to land on top of the blocks. Make sure it doesn't fall and crush you. Great. I, I guess that worked. Yeah, um, in hindsight, maybe make the blocks slightly further away from the platform. But you can figure it out. I got faith in you. You came this far. Jump on top of here and grab your shine orb. Fantastic. From Central Tower, we're gonna make our way north through the green belt to the quarry ruins. This is gonna be the Kata Chuki Shrine. The shrine is located pretty much just west of Central Square and the fortifications for Hyrule. Actually, if you look right here, you see part of the fortifications as well as over here. So it's kind of part of all of it. Pretty easy to find. This is gonna be a minor test of strength, once again, pinning you up against a Guardian Scout version two. Take care of this guy with one of those ancient weapons you got from your other shrine. Head to the back room, get your item, and get your shrine orb. From the last shrine that we were doing, you wanna make your way west and a little bit north of where we just were. And you can find yourself over here a large rock formation. You're then gonna make your way to the west side of this large rock formation, and when you first come here, that's gonna be covered in thorns, you just shoot it with a fire arrow, set it on fire with a campfire or however you want. This is going to be once again, another minor test of strength. Oh, he's got a battle ax. Again, Guardian Scout version two isn't that difficult. Take him on, make your way to the back of the room, get your item and your shrine orb. Oh, I didn't get this one. Oh, Royal Shield, nice. All right, we have two shrines left. The next one we're gonna be going to is Kurnal Hills. And inside of Kurnal Hills is gonna be the Namika Oz Shrine. The easiest way to get here, if you've activated Woodland Tower, you just use Revali's Gale, fly over, and then inside of this extremely large rock formation, there's gonna be a whole bunch of these little circle structures. One of them is gonna have your shrine inside of it. It's actually gonna be located in the largest of all the rock structures. And if it's raining, you don't need to climb it, you just walk through the, uh, the west side right here. Super easy. This is going to be a modest test of strength, pinning you up against a slightly more difficult Guardian Scout. He's going to be version three, and have some slightly better weapons. Remember, you could always hit it with a lightning or ice-based weapon to be able to disable it and get a nice hit in or two. Or just pull one of these maneuvers. Take him out pretty easily, make your way to the back, grab your item, and your shrine orb. Fantastic. And for your very last shrine, this is gonna make your way inside of Hyrule Castle to the docks. If you're pretty early in the game and you're intimidated to make your way inside of the castle itself, the docks is pretty much one of the most outside or remote locations. From the northernmost pillar, which is located right here of Hyrule Castle, 
We're gonna glide on gently to this area and then we're gonna make our way inside going this way. Once you enter Hyrule Castle, you're gonna get your own little map to help you figure out the area. But that isn't necessary as we're just gonna run forward a little bit more. And there's one large cave right here that's gonna bring us to the docks. We're just gonna gently glide on inside. Here's a respawning location of a great flame blade. Once inside, climb up the stairs until you reach a large unlit brazier. Set it on fire using one of the nearby torches or with a fire arrow or with your great flame blade. And this will cause the shrine to appear. For our last shrine, this is going to be a major test of strength at the Sas Kosa Shrine, which once again is inside of Hyrule Castle, in the docks. This area doesn't have pillars built into it already, but instead if you ever need to shield, you can use Magnesis to pull up one of these large metal pillars. Once he's taken care of, you're going to get some pretty nice weapons. Make your way on over to the back of the shrine to get your item and your shrine orb. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is all of the shrines in Central Hyrule, including the one inside of Hyrule Castle itself. We are pretty much almost all set with the series. We have four episodes left. And guys, it's time for you to choose which one we see next. You see that card in the top right corner of the screen? Click that little exclamation mark icon. Be sure to vote for which one you want to see next. Until next time, Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.